Hey guys, Target here, and today we're building a regional train network that will cover the entire city. On the last video we have activated our first train station and we've also built a bus network with a lot of local and regional lines, and today we're complementing that system by adding trains. Trains are much more adequate for long distance transportation because they are faster than buses and also because they have a much higher capacity. Where one bus can only carry 30 passengers, trains can carry 240. So one of the main strategies for this video is for me to build a train station in the most populated areas of the city and the ones that get the most traffic. Therefore, besides the train station that we have built on the past video, on our high-tech center, I also built an additional train station on the city of Tadima, and I then built two additional train stations on our oil specialized industry and on our farming specialized industry, which are the places where the majority of the population work and travel to on a daily basis. On the farming district, I also uh, make a few changes to the layout, namely destroying part of the elevated railroad and bring it to the ground floor so that the cargo rail can split easily into a passenger line as well, where I build the train station. I create two different train lines to connect the city, both of them originating in the high-tech center. I have the city line that connects the high-tech center to Tadima town, which is another residential area, and this line is going to be the city line, which is eventually what will provide access to the most populated area of the city next to the ocean. The line that connects both industries together is going to be the industry line, and people can change between lines on the high-tech center. I also take advantage of this opportunity to uh, rework my bus lines. Buses are most adequate for low distance transportation as they have a lower capacity and they should be complementing your most populated lines, in this case the trains. In theory, buses should pick people from their houses, take them to the nearest train station and then they can access the entire city via train. So I adapt my bus lines following these guidelines. I do build a couple of regional and longer bus lines to provide access to areas that trains do not reach. Then I manually optimize each bus line. I check out how many people are waiting at the stations and if there's a lot of people waiting there, like this big chunk of condensed people, I raise the budget of that particular line to increase the number of vehicles that service it, thus making our network much more efficient. Because I still had some time left, I also built a layout for our disaster response unit, which I built in the area right next to the prospect district, our high-tech center, in that big empty land across the highway. Next to it, I built an helicopter fire station. This area is perfect for it because it's right next to the river, with very easy access to water, so the helicopters from the fire department can fill up their buckets on the river and then move on to the fire. Finally, I proceed to decorate the entire thing. Because train stations have 
a huge amount of activity, I found it appropriate to zone a little bit of commercial next to every single station that we have. And I then decorate the area with some trees and make it look prettier. I do this for every single station. I bet you didn't know that if you connected the back of the train station with a pathway, people could access the platform directly from it. Just make sure the pathway doesn't go through that little annex, that little building in the middle of the train station, because people can actually cross right through it, which doesn't make it very realistic. Okay guys, so I have been reworking the entire public transit system of the entire city and I believe it's fully optimized so far. So let me give you a quick look at it. So as I mentioned, I built a total of two different train lines, the city line and the industry line. The city line at the time being only has two stops. It connects the high tech center directly to Tadima town which is this station right here that I have built on the segment of road that we have left from the previous build. This is perhaps the most efficient line that I have so far. If I click on one of the trains and I actually go to line details, I can see that the car trip saved is at 100%, which means that a line is extremely efficient, which is just perfect. The city line is actually going to be the biggest train line of the city. At the moment we only have two stops, but in the future we are going to expand that line throughout the entire uh, railroad system and eventually connect to this part of the map, where the densest part of the entire region is going to be. If we go a bit further up, we can see that the line connects directly to the station of the high-tech center, Prospect District, and this is actually where both lines intersect, and I eventually can expand both of the lines to the upper part of the region when I start building in this area as well. The industry line provides access to workplaces, namely the farming specialized industry and the oil specialized industry, and it starts right at the high-tech center. So people who are taking the city line when they want to go to other place, they simply uh, change platforms inside the station and they catch the industry line and vice versa. If we follow the train of the industry line, we can see that it crosses the river and it connects directly at the oil specialized industry. And here I'm using the exact same structure that I've been using for the cargo rails. Initially, I had the fear that this was going to be overly crowded because we have limited space to build rails. But so far, we don't have a lot of problems. Sometimes trains need to slow down when they are going through the loop because they have to wait for other trains to go by but in general, this system works very, very well. This line is not as effective as the city line as it only saves 84% of car trips, but still, it's very, very good. If we go a bit further on this line, we eventually reach the farming district station, which is the final station of the industry line. As I've mentioned, I had to rework the well infrastructure and bring it to the ground floor to make it easier to split into two to provide access to the new passenger train station and also because I think it looks more realistic in a ruler area such as this one to have a ground train line instead of an elevated one. So here's a quick overview of the entire um, public transit system of the region. Train lines make up for the main source of transport, high distance. Then we have a ferry line that provides access up and downstream. 
This is an alternate way for people to cross the river and go to the oil specialized industry. Then we have a couple of long bus lines that provide access to places where trains do not go currently, or at least they provide a quicker and faster access. Then we have the local bus lines that service the train lines and the regional bus lines. Following the principles of public transit hierarchy, trains would be considered as the most important and the main um, way of transportation and the sole purposes of buses is to provide access to these train stations. With the addition of the train network, most of the regional lines that I've built on the past video turned out to be obsolete, so we only have a couple of lines servicing this terminal bus station, but that's okay because it can still be used to service this entire area over here on the high-tech district, and it's still to be developed with this region on the upper side, and also the touristic sector on this area over here right next to the lake. While I was working, I renamed every single line that I had in the city to a more unique and characteristic name. So when I'm looking for a particular line, I can easily identify it in the long list that we have and quickly check its performance or make adjustments. In this video, I've also finally built my disaster response unit which is going to make it very, very easier to rebuild the assets on the park areas that we have throughout the city. As it stands out, the fire department cannot access the uh, buildings on the park areas unless they have a road connection. So when they burn to the ground, your only option is to have a disaster response unit so that it is rebuilt. As I've said in the time lapse, I've also built the fire helicopter depot in this location because it's perfect for it. It's a very central location with very easy access to water, where fire helicopters can fill up their buckets and move on to the existing forest fires. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again on the next one, where we will continue the development of this city. Thank you so much for watching, take care and as always, have fun.